A warm welcome to all our viewers, to our series Natural Medicine. It's a great pleasure and honour for me to have the managing director and founder of a company here today who deals with light therapy. I invited her and she came too. Welcome dear Brigitte Rumpel, thank you for being here. Hello Alexander Glog. I'm especially happy because in this spot there have been already so many great people. This is of course something special now. Oh that's nice, thank you very much, I'm very happy. But you also brought me so many beautiful, great people. I remember specifically of the University of Vienna, Professor Skiko, who has also been here and talked about light therapy. We already know a lot about light therapy, but we don't really know how you got there in the first place and started with light therapy research. As always, from my own history. That was already in 82. I had quite a health problem. And one of my neighbours was Ingrid Kratz von Rohr. I don't know if you're familiar with her, a relatively well-known therapist in Germany with a high-intensity high intensity beam, which she passed through an amethyst. She irradiated my spleen. I really passed out. They had to lie me down. The effect was so strong, but the result was so striking. So at that time, I had absolutely no idea what light could do there. And then I started to deal with the topic, to research what was actually on the market already. And that's where I bumped into a lot of interesting things. Among other things, Switzerland was already a great pioneer, especially here in St. Gallen, in the Cantonal Hospital. They put all beds of the sick people towards the sun because it was known that the body is actually a light receptor and can also absorb light through the skin and through the eyes and through the breath. And so the people, especially those with lung disease, recovered quickly. Jakob Lieberman, who is also one of the great light researchers, was one of those who I particularly liked, because he really explained and figured out how we can benefit from light, both mentally and physically. And there are many more. So, of course, there are great people, including Pop, of course, in the field of biophotons. And one of my favourite subjects has always been light in nutrition. So I practice that very, very intensely. And I think that is a very important topic, but it's probably too much for this show now. And then I made experiments myself. I would like to briefly tell you a one-year study at a school with hard to raise children where I was every Monday. And they really gave me the hardest cases, who were really fraught with great aggression and so on. And I treated them with light. And that was a resounding success, so much that in this school they set up a light therapy room because it was so good for the children. So the hyperactive kids? No, it was aggression. It was children with greater aggression. I couldn't say now whether it was also hyperactivity. But in general, these were children from bad family backgrounds who really didn't know how to behave what to do with their aggression, how to get out of it, or depression. And I treated them every Monday. We then measured it with the HRV, looked at it closely, which is good for which child, how are they, how do they react, does the light excite them, then I varied and changed that a bit. And in the end, every single child actually had their own special kind of light therapy. So that was a really great success, I have to say. And those were the things I did. Unbelievable, unbelievable. We'll go into more depth in a moment, I want to show you, dear viewers, a short video now about the extraordinary possibilities relating to wound healing and pain management. And we've provided you with a short feature on this. Please enjoy it. Oh, this is you. Based on research for pain reduction by the Vienna University of Technology, the repulse depth radiator was developed in the course of photodynamic therapy. Well, the red light we used was actually developed for the photodynamic therapy of skin cancer. That worked very well, 
We were able to use photodynamic therapy for skin cancer, make it pain-free with an inexpensive source. The effect of the red light in other diseases, namely in peripheral inflammation, can therefore be successful. And I actually expect this lamp to become a standard instrument of medicine. Recognized research institutions confirm the positive effect of the highly intense cold red light. Light has been used very successfully in medicine for several decades. However, the scientific understanding is lacking. So we, Repulse, support the Ludwig Boltzmann Institute in this area. We, in our research, have found that with light, you can very well release biologically effective mediators, which then lead to improved wound healing and lead to an improved energy balance in the the cell. Repulse has already established itself as a leading company in Austria in the field of light medicine with LED technology. One in five Europeans lives with excruciating chronic pain and six out of ten patients say that this pain controls their life. As a result, 500 million working days are lost every year, tremendous costs. It is therefore only natural that the need for forms of therapy without side effects will increase. With Repulse, we have succeeded in relieving several thousand patients of their pain. The Repulse Depth Radiator is a class 2B medical device that can be used in hospitals, medical practices, as well as by physiotherapists. Repulse is a highly effective medical therapy that is particularly gentle and quick in healing inflammation and thus leads to rapid pain relief. Repulse penetrates deep into the tissue, interrupts the inflammatory metabolism, the leukotrien transport. This can successfully relieve and eliminate pain. Treatment with Repulse also results in rapid tissue regeneration. We successfully use Repulse in our organization. Repulse can be combined with other therapeutic measures and thus improves their effectiveness. The Repulse depth radiator is an easy to use device that we use primarily for pain relief and improvement of information. The Repulse depth radiator is used in addition to physiotherapy treatment and is therefore an ideal addition to physiotherapy. High-performance athletes like Dominic Thiem, Michael Weiss are athletes who use this device regularly. The increase in the ability to regenerate helps the athlete to get back into training quickly. So I've been using Repulse for two years for regeneration and injury prevention. At the moment, it helps me a lot to support rehab after knee arthroscopy. The patented Repulse technology is successfully used in around 50 clinics and several hundred medical practices today. Well, we saw an unbelievable number of people who are already working with it. We saw all their rank and name, but how did you manage to get such renowned people to deal with this technology? That was tough, but I also think it's very, very important. So right from the start, this device or this therapy was developed by two university professors from Vienna University. They actually started photodynamic therapy, and then it was clear that this also goes in the direction of pain and in the, in the direction of wound healing. And we had a very delicate prototype. And then I really went from one doctor doctor to the next with it. So the problem is, if a device that is not approved, you can't do a study with it. And if you don't have a study, you won't get approval. So I had to find someone who could break this circle with me. Now, you're the only one who has developed a device for light therapy with the red light. That is medically approved. Yes. How did you manage that? It must have been an incredible journey. It was an incredible journey. So you can say that all in all, in these nine years, four years were spent on approval. 
In other words, you couldn't sell in those four years. You had to wait until it was approved. Exactly. Oh, how did that work? Well, we rented out, we treated. Of course, we also put together studies during that time. So, of course, we were always active. But it was a tough time, I have to say. And it's just that. In Europe, it's getting more and more difficult. I'll just give one example. We used to be approved for inflammatory processes. Today, you need to a clinical study for strep throat, knee infection, for every inflammation you need your own clinical study. And it used to be only one. Exactly, and hardly anyone can do that anymore. Hardly anyone can do that, and that really makes it so difficult in Europe. You simply don't have the means. Many of them give up, and many of them stop doing research, because they say, I won't get it approved anyway. Okay, but you did it. We did it. You all did it. We all did it. Perhaps I should also just add that we are a really great team now, which is made up of university professors, doctors, naturopaths, from all possible branches that have helped us to gather the knowledge here. Last but not least, our three fantastic nurses who have a huge know-how by now because, of course, they are so close to the patient, the client, and tackle the matter with even more heart. And so in this way, we really have gathered such a range of information and knowledge, and a team like that is rare. I found something else on your homepage. Am I reading correctly that you have actual research centres? We work with research centres and formed a cluster with them. Yeah. So, above all, the University of Graz, the Boltzmann Institute, also the University of Salzburg. We're currently back on a larger study that I believe will be very special. I think I've heard something about that. I think it's about viruses, bacteria and germs. Exactly right. The inactivation of multi-resistant germs. A huge topic that has been pushed into the background a bit by COVID at the moment. Although a university professor who was recently here said, that's actually basic. You know that it works. You just have to finish it now. Yep. We already have two years of research results. There was now a bit of time in between due to our admission problems. Now we're starting all over again. We just got a grant, mm -hmm. another new one for this part. And I think that will be a very interesting chapter. Mm -hmm. Then I saw something else, one page, and I, I couldn't stop being amazed. I know that this Canton Hospital in St. Gallen already works with it. The people there, it's all public hospitals and not just private ones. Did they approach you? Did they come to you because of your research results? How does this work? A bit of everything, really. Of course, we have had a lot of press from our research. I have to say, of course, some people approached us. We also have very special employees who are specialized on hospitals and have also accumulated a huge amount of knowledge and are very competent. We have our doctors who recommend us. That is also rare that doctors recommend it to other doctors. We have that too, so that's how it's slowly built up together. Well, congratulations on working with uh, such people. That actually shows that somewhere the academic medicine, basic medicine, recognizes this whole light therapy and actually uses these great advantages for wound healing and pain reduction. But you're talking about something that actually was very important to me from the first moment. Well, I already knew this type of therapy from Russia. They've been doing this for quite a long time, but it just didn't get to us. And I knew how well it worked and how good it was. What I wanted is that we don't always have this separation between complementary and academic medicine. And light is a way to build a bridge between the two. It's a physically recognized phenomenon. You don't have to interpret it somehow. And I wanted doctors and clinics to use the therapy. I can only do that if I really do the research and show them, look, this is how it works, we have proven that, and so on. 
At this point, I'd like to show another picture I found on your website. And these are the three circles where this light, which penetrates the skin, shows how deep it penetrates. Can you briefly explain this graphic to me? So it's about a wavelength of 632 nanometers. If it hits or penetrates tissue, with a very high intensity, then it comes to a frequency doubling and wavelength halving. That means that we are now no longer at 632, but at 316 nanometers. But mechanical vibration, you always have to add that it is a mechanical vibration, because otherwise we would be in the UV range and that would somehow be damaging, but it's not. And that is in resonance with inflammatory messengers from the leukotriene group. And it's like when you walk over a bridge, the more people walk on it, the more it swings, and then it shatters, it breaks. And with that, it can be transported away. So this very, very high penetration depth, which can only be generated by the very, very high intensity, is very important. And only with this special frequency band, so that 632 nanometers, otherwise it wouldn't work. Well, give or take five, of course, also works, just like it will be at 316, give or take five. But that then hits a component, so to speak, of this inflama inflammatory messenger that is unstable. It disintegrates and thus dissolves the inflammatory messenger. And Professor Pashk researched this very carefully and wrote a very large publication about it. And that is something that may also be a USP because many ask why we don't have infrared with it. Because the near infrared is also a big topic now. We took the exact wavelength that we knew would split the inflammation. We took the exact frequency in which we saw, by the way, was patented, how long it takes for these inflammatory molecules to peel off. And that's exactly why this pulsation was created. And so there is exactly one reason for the wavelength, the intensity and this pulsation. And that also corresponds to the patent. I'd like to briefly show you, dear viewers, a short video by Dr. Maria Mogg. How to treat neck pain with such a device, for example. And we'll make that available to you right away. With the repulse treatment, high intensity red light and heat penetrate deep into the tissue. It is a non invasive, non thermal form of therapy which is applied directly to the surface of the skin. The deeper the effect should penetrate into the tissue, the longer the point should be treated with repulse. Complaints in the cervical spine and the neck area have a variety of origins. Often it is incorrect workload or lack of exercise to compensate for everyday working life or muscle weakness. Pain can radiate to the upper extremities, head or back. Complaints in this area are often summarized as cervical syndrome. The treatment is directly focused on the pain point. In order to enlarge the treatment area, areas around the pain point can be selected. If the treatment is split over several areas, it makes sense to start the treatment directly on the spine. The arrangement of the LEDs means that there are three LEDs like directly on the spine. Two LEDs on the left and right ensure that the paravertebral muscles are also treated. Both points can be treated very well with a tripod or if the patient is able to lie on their stomach in the prone position. To ensure continuity, it would be ideal if the patient were treated in the ordination two to three times a week so, dear Brigitte, now we've seen in the area of neck pain how to do it, but that doesn't have to be restricted to just treating the neck, right? No, of course not. It affects the entire area of the muscu musculoskeletal system that is actually from head to toe. Everything, exactly, because the muscles are involved in the joints as well as the tendon ligaments. And there we have, I have to say, due to the special way we handle this therapy, where everyone is trained accordingly, 
about 95% success rate, so that's really, really high. And for 5% it does not work. But then we found out that there is also possibly a mechanical error inside that has not yet been fixed. So it provides relatively quick pain relief throughout the musculoskeletal skeletal area, up to relaxation, regeneration, everything that the body actually needs to regenerate. Now, of course, we have a lot of viewers. Some of them are in pain. Others have centers of inflammation. Still others would like to have wound healing acceleration. Now, someone like me is interested in that, and I don't necessarily want to buy a pig in a poke. I know there's a science behind it. Is there a possibility that one can also rent such a device? That's quite normal for us anyway. We offer the rental first. Everyone who rents a device receives very special training and support as long as they have the device. That said, we can really say that almost everyone with the help of our nurses is successful with it. And when they notice that, they usually think of grandma, grandpa, dad, mum, everyone has something, so then they'll keep it at home. It's like a medicine cabinet. I see it that way too, yes. So you can rent it and test it, and if you succeed... Exactly, most people, 70% then buy it, and then also receive ongoing support that is automatic, and it's really a very high success rate to which we can refer. I found another picture where... Oh, I want to show it too. Here we see one foot of an elderly lady, and... Just look at the success there, within the short time, with quite a bad starting position. And now that was only done with this. Just with the light, exactly. We have one more case right now, which is very interesting, from a 96-year-old doctor who had an open soul that could not be closed by anything. And now the opinion has always been that, at this age, the cells can no longer regenerate as much. After trying everything, he really only took repulse. And it took about two months, then the foot closed. He documented it himself. He wrote a publication about it himself, which I'm waiting for now, because he's a doctor. So yes. Incredible. Works great. It really is basic medicine, if I hear it like that. I've already used the word before on another program, but actually it is the holy grail. It's also a blessing to simply treat the body with light for so many things. It's a blessing because light has a universal penetration. It doesn't matter if it's a muscle cell, if it's a nerve cell. No matter which cell it is, every cell benefits from this increased energy yield. So the ATP, which is formed there, or nitric oxide or whatever. So we've done a lot of basic studies in the direction of what's going on in the cell. And because this is a profit for every cell, of course, it also helps universally, which is something that now at the same time creates a problem again. To understand correctly, so when I treat a certain body part or irradiate it with the light, the ATP production increases in these regions. Massively. Then the self-healing is also much greater. Yes, massively. So we did these examinations for uh, a very long time. And you can see, especially in oxygen poor cells, so wherever a cell is damaged, the ATP increases massively and then improves the whole endothelial cell story, so everything that is regeneration is thereby improved. One final question, dear Brigitte. If I'd like to know much more now, is there a platform somewhere where I can read everything and find the studies, where I see what kind of effects I can expect and so on? Is there a platform somewhere where I can read? Well, we already have a lot on our website. You can visit www.repulse.at. And what I'm about to do now is to bring our old Repulse Academy back to life. 
where I have all of these collected works, which already exist, and the collected studies and the care and the films and everything that doctors refer to us will be put back on it. I'm almost done with it. That is very, very important because we know that we are not allowed to put a medical statement in a shop, for example, and yet it is important that this knowledge is carried out and I, as a consumer, can read what I can expect from it. Therefore, it would be a good platform to be created and given to our viewers. So, dear Brigitte, this path that you took and succeeded with medical approval, I have to say, that is really an incredible achievement. It took a lot of sweat, money and strength. Yes, exactly. But it's nice for us to know that there is a form of therapy that helps us to relieve pain and especially with pain. I know it myself, also from my wife. If you can't sleep for many nights in a row, then you can't get well either, can you? It's like an empty battery. Yes. There are so many people with back pain, with joint pain and God knows what, or wound healing or scars and things and so on. No side effects, you might want to add that. There are no side effects. So that's an important part. If I take painkillers every day at some point, I get a stomach problem or whatever. Then the whole cascade comes back. But you just weren't thought of, except before. There it really was. The doors were still open for the holistic physician. Yes. Thank you very much for bringing this part of medicine back into academic medicine. Because that is really a great achievement on your part, with all the studies, that it is reintegrated. Thank you, dear Brigitte, for coming to us. Thank you too. You too. Dear viewers, that was really a very important thing for me, to be able to introduce you to Ms. Brigitte Rumpold, who has really fought for years to ensure that the red light, cold red light in a certain range, can get to the market with medical approval. So you can really do wound healing and pain relief on your body yourself without going to the doctor. Of course, you can also go. There are also a lot of doctors in Switzerland who are already working with it. And I can only hope that those who do not yet work with it watch this program today and make their research so that we as consumers have more and more opportunities to benefit from this technology. So, if you have any questions, no matter what, you can contact Brigitte Rumpold today. Please feel free to contact her. She's at your disposal for questions and anything else. I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Wiedersehen miteinander.